Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can rank your Fiverr gig on Fiverr with the help of search engine optimization, SEO. So basically, I'm going to show you how you can entirely keyword optimize your gig so as to maximize the chances of it ranking in the search results. Now, this video is not at all pre-planned. I am making this on request. Dimitro over here, here is the comment. He has requested me to make this video. He wants to know how to rank the Fiverr gigs. So. I am going to show you in this video on his request how to do Fiverr SEO. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in. So for this, I'm going to create a Fiverr gig from absolute scratch. I don't even know what gig I'll be creating. So it's from absolute scratch. It's all blank in my head. I'm going to start now. One eternity later. So after thinking for quite some time, I have decided that I will be creating a gig for email copywriting. You know what's copywriting, right? And yes, if you are a copywriter or if you want to try this gig out, you are free to take whatever I make from this video, all the description title, whatever I make, you are free to copy everything. So here you can see I am on Fiverr.com. First thing you have to do is just type in email copywriting. Uh, sorry, spelling mistake. Just type in e email copywriting because what you want first is some inspiration of some good gigs. You see, here are some really good gigs and only 334 services available. This means that email copywriting is an absolutely unsaturated thing. And if you are thinking that copywriting is something not in demand, then I'm sorry. I don't know where your brain is, but copywriting was in demand, is in demand and will always be in demand because businesses need writers. They need contents. So email copywriting is definitely a very, very good idea. So here you'll see very uh, some of the very good gigs ranking over here. Uh, one thing I'll tell you that don't take these pro verified ones as your inspiration. Uh, these are like you, these are pro verified. Fiverr has verified them themselves. So these guys have some extra credibility and uh, Fiverr loves them better and more than any other gigs. So just don't take these pro verified ones. Here you can see this woman, Francesca, or whatever it is, uh, her gigs, two of her gigs rank over up over here. And one of his, his marketing funnels, copywriting with email. Don't take this one because this is funnels and other things. You want to be as specific as possible. This one, I will do persuasive sales email copywriting for email marketing. This one is good. Just open it in new tab and keep these things for inspiration. Mm. I will cop copyright your customer's favorite emails. Uh, this is a top rated seller, but oh, obviously you can take it as inspiration. But apart from these top rated sellers, I usually take one or two of them and not more than that. I look for level one sellers or new sellers. Look over here. I will handle all your email copywriting needs and deliver whatever. So just open it. What you need is not good sellers over here. What you need is good gigs over here, which are keyword optimized. How you will understand that? Because they are ranking. This means they are keyword optimized nicely. This one you see, I will write professional quality email copywriting. But whatever, this, this is an absolute rubbish thumbnail. Thumbnail is something which I'll talk about later. Mm. This one is also good. I will write high converting email swipes level one seller. So after you uh, open some of these in the new tab, don't like open too many I'll suggest keep only five, six, not more than that. Otherwise you'll be overwhelmed with the information. <laughs> okay, so here you see so many of them are over here. I just opened them in the new tab. Now what I'll tell you, the first thing, go down, go down and look at the tags. What tags are over here? You can only have five tags in your Fiverr gigs. So just have a look at the tags. And also before that, open a Google Doc or MS Word, whatever you have. See, I have already opened one Google Doc like this and email copywriting. I have kept some of these inspiration gigs. These four of them, you can see four links. These are all inspiration gigs for email copywriting. So what I'll ask you to do is first copy all these tags, all the tags that you can find one by one. Okay, this will take some time. So I'll just quickly do it and then come back. Okay, so here you can see I have put all the tags in one place and I've just copy pasted the tags. So there are repetitive ones uh, you can see over here email marketing are repetitive here email marketing here email marketing and on top of that online sales copywriting. Uh, these are repetitive. So exclude the repetitive ones and just look at the list of gigs. I mean list of tags and just think what tags seem the most relevant to you. What are the tags which your customers your clients are like they will search 
they are more used to search you know we, which will get more clicks and more search results just have a look at them and i can see over here definitely email marketing is one and email copywriter over here is another email copywriting over here is another email copy over here is another you can also put copywriting and remember you can only have only five tags so you have to keep that in mind and start working so i'll keep aside email copywriting i'll keep aside email copywriter i'll keep aside email copy and uh, i think i can do uh, copywriting uh, as well so here you can see i have chosen my five tags that i'll put in my fiverr gig email copywriting email copywriting email copy email marketing and copyright these are the most relevant ones and you should be targeting these five keywords and you should put these five tags in your fiverr gig okay so one more thing that i want to show you over here is that in the search bar when you type in email and copy uh, you can see over here just after typing an email you can see so many suggestions coming up these are the things that people are searching but over here you can see these are not things relevant to uh, our email copywriting gig apart from this one so uh, these we cannot target but if you uh, type in copy I'm still not getting anything relevant. So for this email copywriting gig, it is not applicable. But suppose you are setting up another gig of say like Shopify store. You are a Shopify store builder. Then you will have to uh, type in Shopify store over here simply and nothing else. Or just type in Shopify. Nothing more is needed. Shopify website, Shopify store, build Shopify dropshipping store, Shopify website design, Shopify expert. These are the things that people are actively searching regularly. And that's why Fiverr is showing this in the suggestions. These are the keywords which you can also target. And once you have your tags for your Fiverr gigs ready, the next thing that you want to do is get your Fiverr title ready. So what you have to do is just copy paste the titles once again, just the way you copy pasted the tags. All right, so once you have your email, all right, so once you have your tags ready for your Fiverr gig, what you want to do next is get your titles ready. So what you have to do is just like the email tags, just copy and paste the tags of your inspiration gigs and put it in one place. I'll do it and come back. Okay, so I am done with it and I have over here like six or seven uh, titles ready. I went ahead and found out some extra Fiverr inspiration gigs and uh, took them as inspiration titles too. So here you can see I have a few of them. I will do persuasive sales copywriting for email marketing. I will write professional quality email copywriting. I will write highly converting emails in copywriting. I will write killer email copywriting. I like this one, killer email copywriting. And this one is a good one. So now if you have understood, we have to just combine all of this and put it into one title. Just just think what can be the most relevant ones and what are the things that you are liking the most? What are the things that will appeal out the most to your clients when you're just when they are just scrolling through the search results? Just think about that and do what your gut feeling says. So I just take some time, make one title like that and then come back. So here I am with a new Fiverr title for my email copywriting gig. I will write highly converting comma killer email marketing copy. Now notice that I haven't put the word copywriting over here. Now including the word copywriting would have been a very powerful thing to do. But I don't think that will be a very big problem because we'll have copywriting in the description. We'll have copywriting in the tags. And on top of that, we'll have copy. We have copy over here in the title. So that um, can that I, I don't think I don't think that will be a very big problem. And for that, we'll have to use the word copywriting multiple times in the description that we will do. So we have our title ready. We have our tags ready, our five tags. So the next thing we want to do is we want to write out our description, our Fiverr gig description. So now the Fiverr gig description. So if you have already thought about it, what we are going to do? Yes, we are again going to copy all of the Fiverr descriptions from our inspiration gigs and put it into one place. And then we are going to model those five or six descriptions, whatever we have, and then make our Fiverr gig description. So now here you can see five or six descriptions from our inspiration gigs that I have just copied and pasted on this Google Doc. Now, what you have to do is simply model them. Remember what I said while making our tags and titles, just model these things because these things work. Now, if you are thinking that why we are just blindly copying and pasting and just editing these things, the simple answer is because these things work. These gigs are ranking at the top out of hundreds of gigs because there is a reason behind that. The reason is they have done their keyword optimization properly. They have done their SEO properly. And that's the only reason why are they ranking. Uh, yes, we are just copying to model it. Just 
Now, yes, we are just copying to model the descriptions. Now, we are just copying only to edit the descriptions. We are not stealing it blindly. That would have been wrong and uneth unethical. So, I am against that. I never do that. I will never advise you to do that. And if I were anyhow notices that you are doing that, if you are copying everything blindly from another game, they are going to take some action. And so quickly, I will go off camera and I will write down my five description modeling these five or six perfect descriptions from our inspiration gigs. Just model it. Just think what will work. Just think about what are the terms related to your industry, to your niche, whatever. If you are providing a WordPress SEO uh, service, then just think what are the terms used in that particular industry, in that particular niche. Just use those uh, terms to show off to your clients that you know something about it. And sometimes you can also lie about your experience. That's not really wrong, but I haven't done it. And it's absolutely all right if you don't uh, do so. But since I have experience, so I always put in my gigs, I have this much year of experience in e-commerce and this, and this, whatever I do in my gigs. Now, before I continue, one thing I would want to say is that you can create a Fiverr gig in just five to 10 minutes. You can create a Fiverr gig by taking time or oh, a few hours a couple of hours putting your time and effort into it now just imagine the difference between the two one will have less chances of ranking the other will have high chance of ranking there's difference when you put in effort put in when you put in there's difference when you put in effort when you put in research and then use the applied thing in your fiber gig and there is a difference when you just randomly put some shit in your description and hope it to rank it doesn't work like that so it's completely your choice you can just put any random shit in your title in your tag in your description and just list it or you can choose to keyword optimize everything and uh, do your thumbnails properly and optimize everything in your uh, fiber gig you can take some time my gig which has always ranked and gave me the best results which has got me got me the most orders it has like i created it if i remember properly i took two days to create it like it would be a total of six, seven hours, maybe. I know that's a lot, but I planned, I managed to uh, put in some effort. I planned to do the research properly. And I think that's why I got the results. Okay, so I need some time to write down the description properly. As I said, I don't want to rush it. I just don't want to put shit in there. So I need some time to uh, do it and produce a quality description. So let's get ahead and discuss about the thumbnails first. All right, so now let's talk about the thumbnail. Now the thumbnail is not directly related to search engine optimization and ranking your gig, but indirectly it is. I'll explain how, because the thumbnail doesn't really determine how well your gig ranks, but the thumbnail does determine how many times and how much your client, your potential clients click, how much the visitors click on your gig. So when they have searched something, for example, email copywriting in this case, in this example, they will get so many gigs. Now it's the thumbnail which will do the work of getting them into your gigs. It's the thumbnail which will make them click. So Fiverr determines how good is your gig is by uh, looking at the click through rate that you are getting. Like they will show your gigs this many number of times. You will have so many impressions and out of that, how many times people are actually clicking on your gig that is the magic of the thumbnail now if people are not clicking at your gig at all then fire will think it is not a very good gig and that's why it will drop your rank so that's how thumbnail is related to search engine optimization so uh, now one thing i will say that i haven't ever been a very good person a very good uh, artist at thumbnail making uh, these youtube thumbnails you see i don't know i don't consider these to be very good as at all now I make my thumbnails in canva.com just pull out a new like go over here and create a design and uh, do a custom size of 550 into 370 now you can look over here I just search it out on google fiverr gig thumbnail size forum at fiverr.com so it's from fiverr itself 550 into 370 550 by 370 pixels so just type it over here and just make something out of it and make sure it's eye catching you can use some templates over here and one more option this one will be a very good option you can go to placeit.net and then search Fiverr and here you see there are so many templates and these are the good templates. Just look at this one. I love this one. This is a very good one. Whatever you are doing, even if you are doing email copywriting over here, you can put your face. Now your face alone will do a lot of your work. Now if you are not putting the face, even that's not a problem and uh, put the text over here. These are some good templates. This one as well. This one, a good one but you can always do another now if i create another uh, fiverr gig i haven't created a fiverr gig in a while now because my previous ones are still running so if i create another fiverr gig what i will do i'll simply go to fiverr and order it 
I will ask someone who is good at it. So yes, I am not someone very good at this designing thing. So that will be a good thing for me. Now, don't have to spend a lot of money. Just spend five dollars. That will be enough. So here you can see either use place it or dot. Uh, so here you can see either use placeit.net or use Canva. That's good enough. You have many tools. And if you have Photoshop, then that will be the best. If you are good at Photoshop, that will be the best. Really the best. So just create an eye-catching design. Now, what I will suggest is that put your face, put a human face. If you are not putting your face, put a human face from stock photo. Just crop it and uh, put it. And also put in some promises or results for example if you are uh, giving if you have a gig of like say shopify store if you are building a shopify store just put some screenshot of massive results you can find them google on google you can just google them and find some great results some great statistics of one key a day 10 key a day just put them thing just put them uh, like i will show you one thing just let's go to fiverr and find it out switch to buying for example we are doing shopify winning products okay so just let's go and see over here look at this this is what i'm saying put your face and then on the other side put some promises put some results here this person this afe shopify whatever it is this person is using the uh, trick of promises winning products for shopify adoption it clearly says what you are doing and then he's promising that his products will be a problem solver or it will have a wow factor 2x or 3x times profit margin he's just promising so you can either use promises or you can just show results like that uh, now usually this will not be the right ones but that is good enough for attracting those these people now one thing i would say if you are thinking that why you should put in uh, like the screenshot result screenshot from google one thing i would tell you in this case shopify winning products if you are using this thing look you have to keep this in mind who are coming to you to order this thing these guys who will order you order your service these guys will be pretty noobs and things people who are not very much experienced because the ones who are experienced and ones who are pro they will use tools like ad spy and drop point and they will know how to do product research properly they will know how to get their winning product so they don't have this headache so new people will come over here inexperienced people will come over here so just a fake screenshot over here or just some promises that does the work now this is applicable in any niche in any gig in any industry you are in now for example in email copywriting what i should be doing just putting a human face over here if not mine and then just uh, put in some results for example uh, 50 percent open rates 20 percent reply rate if i am writing cold email then replies will be a thing so that will be a thing if you're if you're doing e-commerce gigs uh, if you are running Facebook ads, then put a human face and put some promises that your Facebook ads will give the minimum of 3x return, 3x ROAS. That's a great promise. Like, that's absolutely nice. That's a perfect example I could give you. Your thumbnail is done, your tags are done, your title is done. Now, that's the basic thing. That's the main things about the uh, search engine optimization and ranking your Fiverr gig about Fiverr SEO. Nothing more than that. Uh, your thumbnail is a very important part of it. I just explained that. And one more thing also put in some faqs now i can't really uh, show you what to do over here because it will depend from industry to industry from niche to niche so whatever your niche is whatever your service is just imagine or just look it up on google what problems are people what problems clients are having in that particular service that you are providing for example if you are running facebook ads then you just pro provide some faqs like uh, say like many idiot clients are over there who will ask you are you going to pay for the ads or am i going to pay for the ads now these are really idiotic questions i know but people do ask this so whatever you can think of whatever you can think of just put some faqs this will not like this will not help in ranking your gigs but this will help in you getting sales and more sales wins fiverr will love you even more fiverr will have a positive feedback about you and that means you will have reviews and it will be pushing you up and up and up so the better you do, the more Fiverr will love you and the more Fiverr will love you, the higher they will push you up. And I forgot to tell you one very important thing. Don't put in unreasonable prices. Now try to beat the competition. Now, like in case of email copywriting, just search in email, email copywriting and look what people are charging. At the same price, you can offer more services or at the the same thing you can offer at a lesser price now this is important in especially if you are a noob if you are new to fiverr this is very much important because you need that first few reviews or if you are willing to spend some money you can pay fiverr to rank up your gigs or you can buy your service yourself through another account that will be good enough but you need some 
like reviews uh, in the beginning so i think you should be beating the competition by um, over delivering by over offering by under pricing don't give unreasonable prices for unreasonable offers in fact that is exactly what i did for getting my first few initial reviews now i have this gig i still have this gig running of uh, shopify product research exactly why i showed you that i have my own gig in that um, particular service so what i did everybody else uh, in that space was providing just shopify uh, product research they were just providing five products 10 products that's it and what else they were providing the selling price the profit margin that's simple that is anybody would do it any idiot can do it but what i did over here to beat the competition is that i also offered a few extra things for the same amount of price for the same ten dollars or five dollars i was providing uh video not video as i was providing videos uh, that would illustrate that would explain the how the product works from facebook or instagram whatever that was one thing and the other thing this one is the most important thing ad copy for example if guy, these people these clients of mine are running facebook ads they will need ad copy right so i was giving that ad copy to them too so this was something nobody else was providing so i was providing this ad copy as i said along with the video and sometimes in the beginning now i have switched this off i was also giving the analytics of the product the trends of this product i would usually just screenshot the google trends of that product or in the aliexpress there's uh, aliexpress dropshipping center you can find out the analytics like analytics by analytics i mean the graph how much it is selling per day that graph so i have switched that off now but this is what i used to completely beat the competition and this is the reason why i think people came to me hey so i have the description ready right now and you won't believe me i took literally an hour to do this the entire description and that's much less than what i had expected if you're a fast writer and a better writer than me then you will be able to do this much quickly and if you want to have a look at this description i'm going to read it through don't worry so and this is actually two days after i told you everything about the thumbnail the tags the title everything so this was our title i will write highly converting killer email marketing copy and this is the description that i came up with and here you can see the tags so if you remember what i said i asked you to i told you to model your description based on the inspiration descriptions that you have copied and pasted on your google doc so that's exactly what i did I read every single one very carefully and modeled everything took a few ideas and put it in my description i will read it out to you uh, right now so this is our headline that's why i've kept it in bold and if you can see throughout the description uh, i have this one this is also a sub headline so this is also in bold and the other one these are highlighting points spam promotion box high bounce rates. i want the customer or the client who will be reading this i want them to like pay more attention to these phrases that's why i have made this bold and i think you should also be doing this this helps a lot in attention grabbing and the seo part the keyword optimization part one thing i'll tell you is very important over here is that after you have written everything i'll ask you to do like i'll ask you to write everything first and then get into the optimization part so i have first written out down everything and then i went to this tags part i have five tags right and also consider the uh, title over here so what are the words i have used in my title highly converting killer email marketing copyright and same way what are the words that i have used in my description tags my tags email copywriting email copywriter email copy email marketing copywriting now what you need to do is incorporate all the words that you have kept in your description i mean sorry all the words that you have kept in your tags as well as your title incorporate all of them into your description you should have each and every word at least once in your description this will help the fiverr algorithm the machine to know that the what your gig is and your gig is actually relevant and to the point exactly what the client is searching for so it is very important for the machine to understand that your gig is relevant because they are not humans right so if you can see over here email copywriting i've used the word email multiple times you'll get to know when i'll read it through copywriting i've also used multiple times if you can see over here uh, copywriting here is once and copywriter uh, this word i uh, couldn't use much that's why i used only once i use this uh, over here i have been a copywriter for two years now and what i've done with other businesses how i've helped them this short part uh, this is what i what i wanted to tell about myself email marketing again marketing is something which i didn't put in my description so i use this part to uh, put in the marketing so you will find a few words a few phrases 
which you will not be able to put in your descriptions so that what you can do is put in this part like I have uh, I definitely don't have two years experience of in copywriting this is just a fake thing I am writing to explain to you uh, for if you don't have two years now you can just make a promise that will be good enough if you don't have experience that's okay just don't talk about experience that's okay but I think you should be writing something about yourself and incorporate the words which you cannot fit in your description in there and uh, copy I have written copy multiple times uh, here is one and there are many I'll I can't just find out like that copywriting email so these are the words I've used multiple times highly converting I've used high converting over here uh, ly doesn't make a difference so each and every word you have to use very very like you have to use it in your description it's as simple as that if you don't use you are missing out on opportunity so i'll read it out once do you want to improve the persuasion power of your email be it sales leads or engagement i will increase your sales oh sorry 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 i'm really sorry what did i this is a typo just a minute i'll just correct it and come back okay so i don't know why i made that mistake that was a stupid mistake so i changed it a bit i edited it so do you want to improve the persuasion power of your email be it sales leads or engagement i will boost your results and roi with my copy this is a pretty good headline i think this will grab their attention because this is actually what they are looking for you are directly appealing to their wants this is the headline that's why in bold and then i am talking to what they want i'm talking to the feelings at this point the vulnerable position in their brain yes i agree writing convincing emails can be a hell of a cumbersome task because that is why they are hiring people because they can't do it themselves that's a pain in the ass for them exactly why your emails result being mind-numbing that means boring with high bounce rates people don't want to read it enough and less open rates people don't even open their emails and often ending up in the spam promotion box this is a very big mistake in uh, copywriting people include many links many images and there are other rules also which they don't comply and everything uh, ends up getting into the spammer promotion box which which is a big no no if you're a copywriter but the good news is when you hire me you set yourself free from these problems using key psychological triggers and storytelling techniques of copywriting i'll write emails that your viewer will love to read never will he even think of bouncing back i think this is the best para i've written over here uh, this part key psychological triggers and story techniques uh, these things actually are the key terms in copywriting so this will um, help uh, the uh, card is honking behind so these terms of copywriting will actually help the client the reader to understand my credibility and that i'm actually experienced over here and these terms of the industry have the power of impressing people i don't know why but this is a natural thing what you will get always include this thing this is a part of copywriting which you need to know and need to incorporate in your descriptions spam proof emails what you will get just tell them what you will get and don't just tell them the features tell them about the benefits spam proof emails high converting copy high open rates email that complies with google check to uh, sorry email that complies with google check to skip the promotion stuff maybe a comma over here the email copy will have multiple attention grabbing headlines this is very important multiple headlines this is something every copywriting client wants <laughs> several curiosity loops to keep the reader reading if you have learned a bit about copywriting then you'll know how effective loops are to keep the reader's mind in the content without letting them escape persuasive cta call to action and then something a bit about yourself i have been a copywriter for two years now i specialize in email marketing sequences with my copywriting skills i have satisfied 10 plus businesses by writing copy which has caused a huge influx of customers ever since i think this is a good one especially if you are experienced just change it to one year or six months whatever your experience is and if you don't have experience just promise something don't even talk about experience because promises also tend to hook your reader and they will eventually uh, send you a message or talk to talk about your gig and that's why I'll, i've also mentioned over here want to know more on how i can boost your roi with effective email copy this is a good one send me a message maybe you can make this bold send me a message we'll talk and come up with a plan together it's that simple you'll get unlimited re revisions as your 100 percent satisfaction is my priority this is very very good this thing you should be putting in your 100 by uh, 100 percent satisfaction is my priority this word my this will do insane things with your clients because uh, you are basically allaying the fears of your clients because their satisfaction is your priority like this is a major risk reversal technique that you are using in your copy so that is how you keyword optimize your entire fiverr gig and one last thing to do 
let me just put everything in the fiber thing and let's see what happens i put it over here and i have to remove the i will also so i will write highly converting killer email marketing copy just perfect very good select the category what is over here writing and translation uh, what is over here i think proofreading and editing website content book and email copy here they have the category email copy and language english i'm writing in english if you're using something else so you can use that also what you will write special offers for uh, e-commerce maybe uh, curated content no lead generation this is a good one transactional emails good one and three only mm. search tags put your tags over here so here's the five tags five tags maximum so it's done the first page is good enough save and continue so the next page was the next page here so loading just a minute here you have your the basic plan and also you can uh, click on try now got it and that's enough basic standard premium you can have different packages for your client you can put it everything away this thing doesn't really matter much just be specific and think about the customer the client the most over here uh, think about giving the most value over here promising the most things uh, this will help you make sales over here so just put it in i'll just put something and come back okay so for example i just put in basic standard premium and just 100 words just for example i just put in anything this doesn't really matter much but you can also put in keywords over here doesn't really matter much and the delivery time just be specific and uh, concentrate on giving value and email copywriting is a very expensive skill so just put in your price save and continue you can also put the extra fast delivery option briefly describe your click this is what i was waiting for i just want to put in the description and let's see 1200 out of 1200 characters that means i have exceeded the limit i'll have to get rid of something a few inches later so this is my description which i have wrote out completely myself i loved it because i have spent a lot of time so uh, what you can do is i am giving you the full right to copy this whole description and paste it in your gig if you are doing an email copywriting gig or even if you are doing a sales page gig you can just edit this uh, uh, according to your own wish or whatever skill you are doing this will be an amazing thing because i also give you some copywriting tips while uh, writing this description and how you can model your descriptions about uh, out of the other inspiration gigs so that's it fiverr seo just keyword optimize everything and that's it and definitely after this the search results are in your hands because if you don't if you don't manage to give good results if you get a one star or two star review on your first order then i'm sorry fiverr won't like it and they will put your rank down or who knows they won't even show your gig so focus on delivering result that will also boost your rank significantly so i hope you like this video and if you have don't forget to smash the hell out of the like button it would mean a lot a lot a lot a lot and if you think that you have got some value out of this video then don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you are going to do next what skills are you going to sell on fiverr i really want to know what you are up to i want to know what skills are you going to sell how do you like this video just comment down below comment down anything and i will reply to you i am really interested to talk with you and also consider subscribing as i come out with a video every single week that has to do with business marketing fiverr things e-commerce and that type of stuff